away from Megan and Joel. I know a lot of you. I know a lot of you. Traveled a long way, um, and we appreciate you showing up. Uh, so before I begin, my allergies are killing me, so if I start wandering, I have to stop and compose myself. It's, it's the allergies. Let's start with Joel. Joel, Joel, Joel. So do you have any stories I should tell them? You do know that there's some stories. Obviously, Joel, you're a testament to your parents and what a great job they did in raising you. I'd like to thank Alberto and Dana for raising an amazing young man. Thank you. I have to give it to Joel, he did everything right. I was down in my office working one day and I see his car come pulling down the driveway and thinking him and Megan. Come down to air up a tire and get some tools or something. Joel comes in, sits down, and I'm waiting for Megan to come in too. And, well, Megan went in there. And Joel popped a question. Allergies kicked in. <laughs> so this is very classic move, Joel. Thank you. Oh, Megan. Uh, allergies. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Megan. She is a very strong-willed, determined person. I mean, if she sets her mind to something, I guarantee it's going to be done no matter what. Just like the time we decided to take the pacifiers away from her. <laughs> she was bound to determine that we as parents were making the wrong choice, wasn't it? <laughs> so we started slowly taking them away. To hide them a little bit, and little we know she's already two steps ahead of us. We thought we had most of them taken away and would just give her one bad time or when we desperately need our Sammy. <laughs> and for the most part, things are going pretty good. We thought, you know, this is pretty easy. We must be doing something right. So one day, Tammy was down in the basement doing laundry or something. And we had this little mailbox. It was a decorative mailbox my grandma worked for the painting. It was just standing in the corner. <laughs> and Tammy bumped it or something, knocked it over, and she picked it up, her son opened it up, and we found the mother load of pacifiers. <laughs> <laughs> she was hiding to get her fixed when we wasn't looking. <laughs> That's determination. <laughs> you know, maybe growing up in a house full of boys and and being the only girl didn't seem to bother her much. I mean, she would grab a younger brother, take him into her room, paint their nails, put makeup on them, do their hair, you know, make sure they was embarrassed, but she took everything right in stride. You know, if we were out shooting guns, bows, whatever, she's right there in the middle of it. Uh, probably shooting better than the other ones. You know your determination and strong will is why I'm so proud of you. And of all the accomplishments you may get to worry about now. Huh? Allergies. Allergies. Allergies, I know. You know the bond between a father and daughter is an amazing thing. You stole my heart from the day you were born, and you always knew how to tug at my heart strings to give what you want, even to this day. I know that you're going to be a fantastic wife and mother because the love you show for others and your character speaks for itself. I also know this to be true because you have the example of all these traits in your mother. If I could only change one thing, It'd be that we could rewind time the last 20, 20 some years that we've had to even do it all over again. Now, for the last thing, Megan and Joel, would you please stand? 
and face each other. Megan, extend your left hand out towards Joel. No, put your hands down. <laughs> Megan, stick your left hand out towards Joel. Now Joel, put your left hand on top of hers. Now Megan, put your right hand on top of Joel's. Joel, put your right hand on top of hers. Now Joel, from one husband to another, I encourage you to look deeply into Megan's eyes and cherish this moment. Because this is probably the last time in your relationship that you will ever have another hand on her. <laughs>